It's magnetic. What? My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. All right, well, I was on my way home from the Mad Hatter Antiques and decided that I was gonna swing into the Goodwill. So it is 5.30 in the evening. This is usually when everyone um, is stopping by after work. So I'm not really sure what all we're gonna find because it's probably had a lot of traffic recently. But we're gonna head in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit and hopefully we find something. So here we go. The first thing I found was this blue jay plaque here it had been reverse painted it was pretty nice it was $2.99 I just felt like there wasn't a whole lot of resale value there and so I decided to leave that piece behind and then I spotted this ashtray for 99 cents the glass just had kind of a strange texture to it um, you can see there the little notch for a cigarette there were no markings on it. I did check it over to see if maybe it was signed. I recognize the pattern on this piece of glass. I've found this before in green and amber. I don't think I've ever seen it in clear before. It doesn't have a terribly high resale value in green or amber, so I figured in clear I couldn't really get a whole lot for it. And then I spotted the hound dog for $1.99. You guys know I will almost always pick up art glass. It's just a pretty safe bet with me. Um, you can see the bolacante there. The bubbles aren't extremely uniform, but it is a hound dog and it's art glass. And I stuck it in my cart. This little figurine here, he's intended to look like a Hummel figurine. He obviously is not. He's probably made in Japan. He was pretty cool, but I just wasn't really feeling it. The little oil cruet is still there. Reminds me of Royal Sealy. Oh boy, the birds are excited. Um, I liked the pattern on this. I thought it was really nice. I turned it over. There you go, TJ Maxx. It was $1.99. There on the top even. I thought it was pretty cool. I considered buying it for myself. You guys know I'm usually getting desperate when I'm looking at the plates and the, the bowls. <laughs> These bottles, I just decided to look at these bottles to see if they were actually old, but I think they're just for home bottling of beer. There is a mug with a poop emoji. I spotted this, and it was $1.99. It appears to be Mexican folk art pottery. And I was gonna, I was looking at it and I'm like, you know, it doesn't have a bird on it. Maybe I, I'm not really that into it. And then, of course, I turned it around and it did have a bird on it. And I was like, all right, fine. You've earned a spot in my cart. I will take you with me. <laughs> I was checking the bottom of this to see if there was any marking on it, but I suspect that it was missing a lid. This looked like it could have had some age, but once I looked at the bottom, it was 1-800-Flowers. So that was kind of a little surprising to me because I thought, you know what, that looks like it could be vintage. It was not. I loved this bunny rabbit. You can see there on the bottom, made in Japan. I couldn't really read it because of this sticker, but I like the fact that they taped the bunny on there so he wasn't going to jump off. And this seemed to be pretty decent quality. It was Heartstone. That's not something I'm familiar with. So because I'm not familiar with it, I left it there. And this was the same thing I looked at the last time. Now this mug on the end cap, I loved the design on it. It had dragonflies, butterflies, florals. 
There was a canister here. The bottom said Mr. Bits, made in China. I'm not really sure what that was. There was a little Pekingese on the shelf, and I turned it over to see what the marking was, and it said Charm Stone. I'm not familiar with Charm Stones either. You can see there it is marked Earl Sherman, I believe. Um, I didn't know what the value of that was. Here we've got some plates. They were all taped together, and they were Avon. They were definitely Avon, marked right there on the bottom. <laughs> this apple, obviously made of stone. I'm not sure if that would be considered marble. I picked this up because I liked that it was cut to clear, but there was a lot of chipping around the edge. Got a few ashtrays. They were flash colored and the flash had started to wear off of those. And down here, this teapot was really neat. I believe it was a gift, a Teleflora gift or something like that, but I loved the hot air balloons. And then I found this and it is marked Maida, Maya on the bottom. So I had to grab it. Figured I'd, I'd look it up a little bit later. And um, I will be doing a haul from my car at the very end of this video. So I'll let you know exactly who made it at the end of the video. This looks like Germany or Czechoslovakia. I had a hard time reading the mark there and I can't remember. But unfortunately there was a chip on the spout. I missed the creamer earlier. I swore I picked it up, but I guess I didn't. You probably saw it in the video. I found a brandy snifter. <laughs> it is a blue brandy snifter. It's got that diamond optic. Um, it was actually very heavy. It was heavier than a lot of the ones I normally find, but I love that blue glass. I've got quite a few of them in my own personal collection. I don't really need any more, so I'll probably end up selling that one. I believe that was decoupage. Decoupage. I've been corrected in the way I pronounce that and I still can't get it right. And here we are at the purses and we are looking through the purses. Um, I really just wasn't sure. There were so many purses at this Goodwill. It was crazy. This one was $6.99 and I liked this one. I loved how deep it was. You could put a lot of stuff in there, um, but I just wasn't sure of the brand. I did look it up and it didn't look like there was a whole lot of room there for me, so I ended up leaving that one behind. And then I found this lumberjack man. I mean, maybe he's not a lumberjack. Maybe he's just like a, a forester man, but he is John and Linda Beasley and he is folk art made from paper mache he's got a nice little beard i'm not sure what goes in his bag or his sack but he was pretty cool definitely folk art piece um and i liked him i liked his checkered shirt <laughs> here we've got a doll and um she's got weird feet and stuff it looks like something was supposed to be in her hand judging by the dried up glue and I was checking her over to see if there was any signatures or something, but I was not finding anything. Just a dried up glue hand. I've actually bought and sold boxes similar to this in the past and uh, got about 20 to 30 bucks for them. And I considered grabbing this one, but yeah, and in the end I decided to leave it for the next person. And I came back to the bag and I'm like, maybe, no, probably not. <laughs> now, um, I did take a little walk through the artwork. I have found good artwork here at this Goodwill in the past. So I figured it was worth a little peek 
And um, that was really all it was worth because there wasn't much there. And that's it. I mean, that's really all I got. Not every goodwill is a fill your cart kind of goodwill. And uh, that's all we got. All right. Well, I was on my way home and I was driving past this bunch of boxes out by the road and it's basically like you can pick up whatever you want leave a donation and that's that but it's about to rain and so these boxes have been sitting out here and I decided you know what I'm gonna go through these boxes before it rains and we gonna see if there's anything there worth salvaging so you know it, it's gonna get ruined here when it rains so let's go check it out all the stuff kind of reminds me of one of those Middleton dolls, Mattel. They are always putting stuff out at this barn. And it's mostly box lot stuff. Um, who knows, maybe there's something worthwhile. Kind of looks like the Pendlefin rabbit. Barrel bong. What is a barrel bong? Stick it anywhere. Hang on a wall. It's magnetic. I don't know what it is, but it's got a dog on it and I kind of like it. It's magnetic apparently. I could stick it to my car if I wanted to. All right. I'm, like I'm, I'm reluctant to dig because I don't have gloves and I don't know if there's broken glass and stuff in the boxes. This is really something I should have planned ahead for, I feel like. What is this? Yeah, it's got a giant crack on it, unfortunately. We've got a little carving here. Huh. It's folk art. It's a little folk art. It's a, um, what am I? I had one, a border collie. It's a border collie and a little sheep. A little folk art carving. I really wish it was signed and it's not, but you guys know I'm a sucker for folk art. You better get out here and get some, uh, some tarps on this stuff. All right, well, I think that's all I'm gonna grab. Just a few things. But I like everything I grab. I really like this folk art. That's kind of fun. All right. All right, well. <laughs> that was kind of a quick trip to the Good Bull. It was a little bit of slim pickings. So I decided that as I was sitting here, um, I was going to just do a quick haul video of the stuff that I purchased just now in this video and go over that with you. Um, I'm going to roll up my windows and put my air on though because it's a little toasty in here. Um, and I'm going to do it for memory. So this is when you guys get to see my memory at work and see how bad it really is. Uh, all those times when I can't recall the maker of something. Um, okay, so one of my favorite items, without a doubt, is that Maya Pottery, M-E-Y-A Pottery. Um, I believe the artist is Amy Maya, um, and she does a lot of nature-inspired pottery pieces. Um, you can actually find her on the internet, and she does, like, these amazing 
branches with birds on them. Those are really cool and I would love to find one of those. But and we found a vase. The vase is still really cool. Um, but she actually has a pottery studio. Um, she's still active. She's still making pottery. Uh, that vase right there, I would expect probably get 35 to $45 for. That would be my my guess on what we would get for that. Um, another piece that we got that was kind of exciting was that folk art piece. It was the piece marked on the bottom, John and Linda Beasley. I believe the date was 87. 89, 88, one of those dates. Um, that piece right there, that is a folk art piece. It was really cool. I knew it was folk art right off the bat. I mean, how many, kind of looked like a lumberjack with his plaid shirt. He was pretty cool. Um, their pieces, their paper mache pieces sell anywhere from 20 to $45. So that was pretty cool as well. We got a brandy snifter. I would expect that to sell anywhere from 12 to $18. It was kind of a smaller brandy snifter than what we normally buy. Uh, we got the Mexico Pottery Yore, also a cool piece. Not of a super high resale value, but you guys know I am a sucker for the pottery from Mexico. So that piece right there, I'm thinking probably 12 to 18 as well um it was nice it had a bird on it i almost set it back but when i realized it had a bird on it i was like you know what i kind of like this i think i'm gonna grab it um and another piece that we got was the little art glass hound dog i really like the little art glass hound dog i could see that there was a sticker underneath the goodwill sticker since i just got into the car i didn't actually peel the sticker off i'm not sure who makes it but judging by the bulacante in the piece um it wasn't very uniform and that's one of the things i look at when i'm looking to see if a piece is murano i'm looking how uniform the bubbles are you know and that's kind of silly but are they in a straight line are they the same size um the bolaconte in this hound dog was not really uniform but it was still a cute little hound dog piece of glass and so um for that piece i would probably expect i'm going to say 18 to 24 dollars for that so our total spend on everything, and I think that covers everything. <laughs> Our total spend on everything was only $14. And I did round up. I rounded up um, for their job program, which I always do. So I think we're gonna make out all right. I think on that um, Maya pottery vase alone, we're gonna do um, we're gonna do all right. So I just realized I have a really weird shadow on my face. And I'm wearing my glass. I'm doing the Casey Neistat is what I'm doing. This is the Casey Neistat um, filming technique that I, I don't do very often, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I don't do hauls very often either in my car from memory. So this is a new approach to things, but um, I figured we weren't in there very long. We didn't buy a whole lot of stuff and um, I would kind of just go over what I bought, even though I'm sure I talked about it a little bit in the video. It would be fun to, um, to go over some of this stuff with you. So very excited about that vase, <laughs> kind of tempted to keep it, but at the end of the day, I really don't need to keep everything can't keep everything otherwise it very quickly accumulates so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to hit the road now i'm going to um get on home um the kids are probably waiting for me because it's six o'clock so um tomorrow we're going to the mall and juliet's getting her ears pierced she's very excited so i will see all of you guys tomorrow <laughs> and um i guess that's it later okay. so i got my ears pierced a few days ago and I can show you what it looks like. Right here. And I'm going to end the video right here. Well, this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.